you know, a lot of us are so focused on ever in increasingly complex systems. We think we can drive variation out of every process and eliminate the opportunity for human error. And we become so overly focused and obsessed on systems. We tend to forget about people. We tend to forget about people. And it is an absolutely true statement. I've seen it over and over. I've lived it and, and I've seen it since I joined Purdue. You have these organizations with amazing work instructions, great training, um, just the most beautiful systems you, you could see, but they're dying a thousand deaths on quality. Their, their quality is so bad that their customer has sent their own engineers to move in house with them because they've lost all trust. And you just see it in all those little ways. And that's where I tend to say from that view and life experience, your culture will make or break you. If you if you don't have that, you've got nothing else. You can't outspend your way out of a bad culture. You can't outmanage your way out of a bad culture. It can't be done. It cannot be done. Bosses are the little police dogs that like to run around and try to <laughs> nip people into place and push them around. Um, Whereas a leader, and again, my personal definition, a leader to me is someone who gets that willing participation of others to follow a vision. The team takes care of the team. We're all on board, right? We're all in this together. And it's funny, when I do see those bosses hit the floor, people scatter, they run, they tighten up. But when you see a leader hit the floor, I can recognize that too. People don't scatter, they don't run, they don't tighten up. It is literally the team takes care of the team. And there's usually a little bit of a positive reinforcement and conversations that go on as well. Early in my career, I was not a leader. I had to unlearn being a boss and learn how to be a leader. Uh, so I, I've lived on both sides, right? And one of many, many mistakes I would make, and it, it does go right down to building culture, those little interactions we have with people. When I would hit the floor, we're all busy. We always work in a fast paced environment. We all have things to do and we're always in a hurry. So when I would hit the floor and someone would come up to me and want to talk to me, I'd give them the old walk and talk. Hey, I'd love to talk to you, man, but I got to keep moving. So walk and talk, talk to me. And you know what that's telling that person. They feel like they got about 20 foot of runway to get their message out and hope something sticks. We all know that's not being listened to. That's not being valued and so many other things so what i learned to do and it's quite simple square up shoulders hips and toes stop turn face the person and give them my full they've got my entire everything <laughs> all my attention and here's a little pro tip i'll share here that i didn't share in the webinar what i realized over time was it was actually more efficient to do it that way because most of those conversations take about 45 seconds if you do it once and you do it right. When I would give people the old walk and talk, what I would do is I'd take one conversation and fragment it out to about 20 attempts at conversation, which turned into about 10 minutes of interruptions over the course of a month. So it was really just more efficient to get it done. And you build that culture, that trust. People feel like they're being listened to. You know, I, I really like breaking one myth today and I want to break another one there. The, the myth is, well, there's a bunch of people who are out there not working and if they just come back to work, life would magically be great again. It's just not true. Now, this worker shortage has been coming for a very long time. It was amplified by COVID. And what if I said to you, this is as good as it gets maybe. This is the world we're going to live in. What do you do about that? If you're struggling now, you might want to figure it out instead of hoping it's going to magically resolve itself in the future.